Welcome back, we got Steam Fortress Suicidal Gunslinger. This is what, episode, uh, this is the ninth episode this week that I'm recording, I believe. This should be like episode 151, 153, something like that. I don't know. I genuinely don't know, because uh, I did that thing where I, uh, I moved my recording day and I had to record those two episodes that week, like those two extra episodes that week. That's just messed everything up for my calculations. Because I'm, uh, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, okay, well, however many weeks this is, which I can't even remember at this point. Yeah, it should be 142, because it should be 10 weeks. It's 142. So it should be like episode, this, this should be episode 151. Because 10 weeks at 14 videos a week, plus the two extra from that one week. This should be 151, because this is the ninth episode this week, I believe. Or it isn't. I don't know. I can't count. I've, I've, I've made it very clear that math, while I'm recording and, and playing Killing Floor 2, it's not my strong suit, you know? But I'm pretty sure this is the ninth episode. And then the other thing is, a lot of the time I get it wrong. But sometimes I don't get it wrong, but I just end up deleting one of the videos because I don't like it. <laughs> and then everything just kind of gets bumped up. And I have to re-record a new one. Sometimes I put it back in and just pretend... Like, I never even deleted a video. I just pretend like I recorded it in order. <laughs> Sometimes. But not usually. Usually I just put it at the end. I'm like, hey, I'll just look like a big dummy for some of, the, for some of them. It's fine. People get a chuckle out of it. Yo, I had a hot take Gohan sucks. Gohan? Gohan sucks. Um, I realized after uploading it and like naming it and all that that I had a hot take video before uh, because I had a, I had hot take KF2 DLC is okay and uh, I was like oh I can't use hot take again but I already named it and I'm like I don't really want to think up a new name so it's just gonna be what it is uh, but that video got a dislike so I guess people like Gohan I can't see it <laughs> like I'm talking about, yeah, I got a dislike. So I was talking about how Gohan sucks, and I'm like, I don't understand, cause Gohan sucks. Um, they got a dislike, and uh, the thing is, is dislikes. I said it in a previous video, but dislikes also make me feel good, you know? Cause I mean, if if all of my videos are getting disliked, and if if it's obvious that there's one person who I just annoyed, and they're going through and they're disliking all of my videos, I'm like. Okay, you kind of stink, but I'm not happy about that. I'm not sad about that. I'm, I'm relatively neutral about that, right? Like, if you're going to be that mad at me, like, just tell me. Um, if you're going to go and be weird about it, like, I don't, I don't know what you want me to say about it. I don't really care. But when I'm only getting, like, a dislike on a video here or there, that, that makes me feel good. Because it means, it means that that's growth, right? That is showing that there are people who care enough to watch my videos and then dislike them. It's not somebody who I just annoyed or that I, I, I would, you know, yeah, somebody that I annoyed who's just like, oh, I'm going to go and dislike all your videos. It was, it was somebody who saw the video and they're like, oh, this seems interesting. And then they watched it and they're like, ah, I didn't really like it. And then they dislike it. And I'm like, you know what? Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for at least being there, you know? So I've had a few dislikes and uh, I feel pretty much the same as as uh, as I do about likes. Because it's just, they're nice. It shows that I'm getting attention and that's, that's what YouTube's all about, right? Anywho, we're doing Steam Fortress. Steam Fortress is a fun map. It's not so fun on Endless, though. On Endless, you don't get to go inside the big spaceship, and the big spaceship is the best part of Steam Fortress. So with uh, with Endless, no steam, no uh, no spaceship, no fun. the The spaceship is like ninety percent of the fun of uh, of Steam Fortress, you know. You gotta step on them. Just jump right on them. Okay, step right on them. That's how you do it. That was the wrong move. I wanted to bounce it the other way, but uh, kind of whiffed that pretty bad. It's uh, it's kind of fun because um, we're moving down to suicidal now, and seeing how easily 
easily I can handle like everything that the game throws at me on suicidal like I don't think I've died since moving to suicidal like, I'm pretty sure I've won all of them except for that one berserker run which I mean can you blame me actually I think I did die once but it was like really early on and because of something stupid yeah, I got stuck on something right in uh, desolation did I finish? Did I upload that video? Did I did I include that? I can't remember. I did die in Desolation once, though. Might have died somewhere else, too. Anyway, the moral of the story is, like, I can just... It's it's such a more... It's so much more relaxing. And that's why I moved to it, right? It's just uh, that, that peace of mind, knowing that I'll be able to... To be able to do this. I mean, it's just... It's nice. No, knowing going into it, knowing that I'm gonna come out with a win, is uh, is good. One one game that I have been wanting to do a series on for a while is Binding of Isaac, because that's a game that I have watched a lot of content of, but never actually like 100%ed. And it's a game that I feel like I could 100%. That's the other thing is I want to 100% like most of the games in my Steam library. Um. So we might have like an Achievement Hunter series kind of thing. And I'm, Achievement Hunter might be like copyrighted or whatever. Patented. Not patented, but uh, might be trademarked, copyrighted, whatever. But um, might have a, a style of series where I go after achievements in Steam games. Because I do want 100% of all. I don't know. It's hard to think of this stuff. Like what's going to be good? And then the longer I think about like what games... I'm going to play and what, what other series I'm going to add to the channel. The longer I have only Killing Floor 2 content, the longer I'm building up this audience that is only here for Killing Floor 2 content. So I need to I need to do it quickly. I need to put something out. Who knows what though. Hello there. Aww. You're dead. Look at these, look at these fools thinking they can do anything to me. It's only suicidal, you can't hurt me. Suicidal's so easy after coming from Hell on Earth. I mean, I was kind of finding it very easy anyway before we went to Hell on Earth. That's why I made the move to Hell on Earth. Um, but Hell on Earth is just too much of a spike to me. At least when I'm recording. It's, it's at the point where when I'm not recording, a win is, is not likely, per se. Well, actually, no. A win is probably likely when I'm not recording. But when I am recording, I just I lose that little bit of extra, you know, ability. That, that little bit of brain power that is necessary to, uh, to thrive in Hell on Earth. If I did a, a video without commentating, I'd probably win Hell on Earth, like, pretty handily. I'm not going to because that would be a horrible video and completely against everything that I uh, I have put on my channel. One other thing that I really want to get into is um, like Switch games, but I can't actually record my Switch. So I don't have A, I don't have a capture card, and uh, B, I can't actually bring my Switch into my room because um, it's technically my sister and mine. We both, we went uh, halfers on it. We're going to get our own eventually. Like, when I move out, I was supposed to be moving out, um, not too long ago. As I have, uh, explained previously. Um, I was hoping that would be a... Oh, wait, we have the Glock. I was, I was all worried about, like, how am I going to take these guys out? We got the Glock. I was supposed to be moving out previously, uh, pretty recently. And then, um, you know, I didn't. And, uh, we were going to go, so let's see if we can make this jump frame perfect. Eh, not quite. Not quite. Uh, we were going to go and get a new Switch, go halfers on that one as well, and then we'd be, like, even, right? So, uh, that didn't happen. I don't have my own Switch, I can't really record it, but I'd like to record, like, Mario Maker... Or Celeste, which I only play on the Switch for the I own it on PC as well, but oh, I forgot to throw nades. I got one. You see those? See those chairs popping off? Oh, 
Yeah, it's gonna hit me. I can't really avoid that. You can just... No. Oh. Wow, she can just hit through like half of this garbage. This ain't cool, bruh. I know that down here is pretty good for, for fighting the matriarch. I've never been down here. Never been down here before. I went the wrong way. We're going to try to uh, get her around the other way now, maybe. See if we can't catch up to her and get her running in the other way, please. And thank you. It would be very nice if I could. Okay, you know what we're going to do instead? Is I'm going to run this way. I'm just going to run past you. And now you're going the other way. So now you're much more useless. Because her gun's on the right side. Much better. Much better. Okay, can we get her down to useless point? Please? 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 Yes. Now we just gotta worry about the Edars. Where are the Edars? I don't even see them. Okay, there's, there's the one. Wow! I'm just booking it right now because I do not want to get caught by that claw. Yeah, that thing right there. Do not want to get caught by that. Use your claw, please. Oh, I thought I might have been just out of the range. Jeez! I'm going up top. Get me out of here. Ooh. I hate those Edars. They're rough. We're also not on Hell on Earth, so I don't need to worry about it too much, but... Because this should just take her out real quick there. There we go. Nice and easy. Alright, so you want to kite around the bottom at the first part and then get out of there because you're going to get swarmed by Edars. Sounds good. Pretty simple strategy. Alright, well, that'll do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.